This is Revolutionary Hero 101. Um, yeah, M my name. Um, the first thing we need to do on this video is I need to apologise because on a couple of my most recent videos, there's been some problems with audio and one even started repeating. Basically, I've had some problem with my editing software, so there's been some problems. But hopefully, I'm quite certain I've fixed it. Yeah, when I say quite certain, I mean there's a very good chance I haven't, and this video will have been like. This will actually be in Russian right now because my editing software is that messed up that somehow it has turned English into Russian. Um, trust me, that makes sense in my head. If, if it doesn't in yours, that, that's cool. It's cool. Obviously, you're a bit weird if you can't make sense of that, but it's cool. <laughs> yeah, what we're doing, we're what we managed to miss is that we're now at peace with Poland after I took that city down there, which we need to convert to the communist. Ways. Um, yeah, cool, that's communist. And what's happened now? I made peace because they're now giving me three gold a turn, so that's cool. So they're, they're like. So we're going to leave them because for the time being, they're actually quite useful. They're getting some, some dosh, you know, so that's cool. We're going to let them live. Um, oh, well, there's going to be a problem from the East Balkans, clearly for culture. Um, we're going to build a luxury here. We need to get some stuff ready for. You know, we need to be getting in the technology as well as everything else. Don't you know there's a war on? Uh, Anti-aircraft gun. Cool. Yeah, we're clearly going to have to invade these Balkans. Yeah, Balkan. So they have three cities, so we should be easily be able to go through these two. We can leave Budapest. It's not a, not a threat to us at the moment. So those other two, Bur Burchester and... Chinua, Chinua, I guess. The, this is the, actually the hungry area down there. Yep. Bit of barracks. The army division will clearly have to move in pretty soon, actually, if we want to want to prevent problems. So we're gonna have to build some infantry to garrison, and then we'll go on the offensive and spread the the communist ways to the East Balkan. You know, for Comrade Stalin. Yeah, because we're um communist, everyone's supposedly equal. So we actually, Stalin's actually called Com Comrade Stalin. I discovered, but uh, I'm trying to st Stalin probably in the USSR people were not equal because Stalin had everything, and the people had very little. But you know, I'm sure I'm sure when they started the revolution, they had good intentions to be you know communist, communist. But they were the dictatorship communisms pretty rubbish, you know. Then again, anything with a dictatorship usually stinks. Yeah, we'll go with research, because I can't do trade missions because no one likes me, because we're communist. Again, being communist, we really shouldn't have money. I mean, you know, we're communist. We don't need money. We hate money and stuff. It's the root of all evil. Or love of money is the root of all evil, I should say. You know, so we're, we're against the capitalist menace in communist Russia. Oh, that's the most cultured. Oh, we're stack second. That's pretty good. In hack on. Oh, that's. It's time that you abandon it. No, 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 Poland. Shut up. God, such an idiot. Does he really think that he can, can threaten us to go to his religion? I mean, let, let's look. I mean, oh, I'll just build the net. But I mean, just look at the. No, for goodness sake. <laughs> I was going to show you all, like, just be like, oh, look at the size of us, but then it won't let me. Yeah, thank you, I've built a tank. I, I didn't care. I, I knew I'd build a tank, probably. Yeah, okay, if if we look at the size of Russia, let, let's see, um, I think there's a little thing where I can draw. Oh, no, where is it? Just a sec. Let me find it. And I'll just demonstrate something. Uh, I'll coach what I'm doing. These are this red area. The red the red area is Russia. See, that? that that's all Russia. And then this little blue bit, Oh, this bit here is Russia too, this sort of ready blue, because that's where the culture is mixed. And this blue bit, that is, that's Poland right there. Well, there's an easier way to do this. Yep, new line. Basically, Russia is... I'm just going to go up. That, that is Russia, basically. In a, in a gist, yeah. That is Russia. 
that mass of land, and then that is Poland, that very small circle. Hmm, do you think I would be scared of the threats of Poland? No, I don't think I would either. Yeah, delete all lines. Hey, we can use this to plan out our strategy, so... So we need a new line. And we can put a new sign there. Attack. Okay. Let's put some amusing ones down as well, like... Let's call this not quite as good as Germany. Cool, that can... I think I need to join this up for the side to work. Sign. Not quite Germany. Uh, what, what else? What other new lines can we do? Wait, I've got I've got a good one actually. Uh, I don't really want delete that line there. New line. Uh, it's around here. Uh, new sign there. Where I live. Cool. That, that's where I live. And if anyone was interested. And then we will do one around America. You'll, you'll like this one. It, it fits in with the fact that we're pretending we're communist. New, new line here. Yes. Yeah. Fits in with the fact that we're playing the role of um, Commissar Stalin or Commander Stalin. Yeah, Stalin. See, be, being Stalin, or we we will go with evil capitalists. I think they say so, capitalists. I'm not quite sure. I'll leave it there. Oh, oh, I didn't get that, Arian. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'll, I'll stop messing about with that now. <clears throat> well, you can see the lines. Nice, that's pretty cool, actually. So we can see... See the lines? Oh, so I could do a lot more in-detailed one. But yeah, that shows our next... Our next, like, operation. So yeah, I, I could have done it in more detail, like said, which tanks, but to be honest, I, I doubt it's really necessary. I just thought it was a pretty nice, cool little thing there. Okay, but, so we've got three tanks, I'm going to create a second um, tank army. Uh, it's going to have to go to Birch... Oh, well, I guess that one can go to Birchester, and then another pier can cross the river and hit... Because that city there, I'm not pronouncing that. Okay, I, I'm not too great at pronouncing things, I'm pretty terrible. So we'll just assume, let's just pretend I said it correctly and ignore the fact I did not say it at all. What do we need in this city? As well, well prepared. we could do with an airport, I think. Oh, early infantry. Already Moscow already has one unit in there. Uh, we've built our anti-aircraft gun here. Let's build a vehicle factory. Yep, they can sleep. Moscow really needs a good defence around it, because it is failing at the moment. Oh, I'll call the T-34 is in position. We'll just get it to sleep for the time being. We only really need three tanks there. Oh, we could probably, probably win in two, with two tanks. These Balkans are quite small, you know. A goods factory, uh, we'll build a laboratory. They just need to get, like, all the cities up to full strength. Now oh, this needs some more uh, infantry. So you have all these cities up here, which are really quite terrible. That was 37 turns, so it won't... It will be adding very little to the war effort. Very little indeed. Well, basically nothing. A little bit of dosh just to supply the brave soldiers of the um, communist regime. What not? Oh, yeah, yeah, we can build a radio station here. <laughs> it's all messed up and weak. Oh, really, Minsk doesn't have an anti aircraft gun. And we shall hurry it. I just want to check what my civs are, I've forgotten now. What do we go? Oh, yeah, communist, police, police state, skilled labour, free market. We really should use state market or regulated, but yeah, let, let's go with state market. That, that's the communist one, really. But we're gonna go with the police because I'm sure authorin that one. I think it's authoritarian, perhaps. I'm not quite sure. It's going to be meant to be the communist one, but the communists would have had a police state as well, so that's cool. Yeah, revolution. Plus, we have quite a lot of cities a long way from the palace, so it'd actually be a good one to have. And no one, we do have trade with outside our country, but people are going to quickly stop once we start invading everybody. 
uh, if you are allowing them to forget it. I'm not in charge of evil poles. Being Russian, or we shall scapegoat the poles and the East Balkans when we invade them. Actually, can now out, please. Don't probably don't need to explain why we're doing stuff. It's just like, yeah, we're doing it. Shut up. It's the com the police state way. You punch them if they disagree. It's a good way to get votes, actually. <laughs> yeah. Just need to strengthen our nation as a whole. See, because on the point list we're at the highest, and you know. That's the main goal, so we can win a point to victory, because we won't eliminate all rivals in the time limit, because there's a lot of them. I mean, a freaking lot. I mean, obviously I've set my own goals of spreading communis communism as far as freaking possible. In fact, I have a plan while I have open borders for people. The honour of Jeremy Fowler is that we ask you to give us more. We reject your empty threats of on Papen. Not as good as Hitler. So if it was Hitler, we would fear him, because, you know, Hitler was a powerful man with mass armies, but the one Papen, you know. He was, he was Vice-Chancellor, I mean... It's pretty pretty pathetic, isn't it, Vice-Chancellor? I mean, who would, you, who would you fear more? The Fuhrer or Vice-Chancellor? You know, it's simple answer, really, isn't it? You know, the Fuhrer. The leader, he, he's called, not Vice-Chancellor. Not quite the guy who's not quite the president is is probably not the best title, is it? And that's basically what vice chancellor is. You know, Churchill has forced labour. I always knew he wasn't a true Brit. So in Britain, we don't want forced labour in our nation. Yet, there's damn Churchill bringing it in. Disappointed in Churchill. Disappointed. Oh, these guys are going to be defending, I think, so we'll give them defensive. Yep, this infantry is going to go and garris live, live. That reminds me, I think I could change the name of, our, of um, some of the cities. I think it's possible. Where's Moscow? We're going to call it New Joe Town. New, New Joe Town. Yep, there you go. What do you mean? I'm being a bit too full of myself by calling it New Joe Town. And my first name is Joe, just to clarify why I did that. No. And where shall we? And we're also, if we get round to attacking England, we're making London Oxford. Because Oxford, the place I live in, is a much better city than London, even though it's smaller. But but it has a nice university, and it's nice and lovely, and it's quite, it's quite famous. And it's, it's got nice buildings and things, and we have some shops. It's cool, trust me. Trust me, take my word for it. It's, it's cool. It's a cool place. Uh, there's two cinemas. You know, that, that's all cool. London is a lot bigger. But Oxford's nicer. Uh, you know... Oh, this guy's from Turkey. We're going to invade him at one point. Ibex. Invade him at one point. And actually, we should give that a new line as well. Cool, we'll just add some in. Sign the old enemy. Right, if you don't know, Russia and the Ottoman Empire hated each other, and this is kind of where the Ottomans originally were. And then we will circle this. That's the oil region. Cripple the capitalist machine. Capitalist machine. There you go, that's, that's basically spelled right. See, because that's where all their oil is, so you take that, and they're screwed. So that, that's one of our objectives. Hey. That's where the Knights of St. John originally had their headquarters, but then they lost it and went to Malta. Yep, there's a little fact for you there. Anyone who watches QI will be interested by that. Again, I'm not sure if you have QI in any country but Britain, but it's, it's a good show, QI. I, I enjoy it. We we have Stephen Fry again. I don't know if you know him. If you're not British, or but yeah, Stephen Fry's on there. He's he's a funny fella. He's also very very smart. He he's a clever guy. And then they have some. Uh, they usually they have a collection of other people, and they do some. It's like a quiz show, but a quiz show with exceptionally strange facts. It's like stuff you wouldn't expect. Ugh. Or eight out of ten cats. That's another very good show which I'm not sure if you'll have anywhere but Britain but 
that's efficient industry. That's that's a nice one. It has an Alan Carr. If any of you are aware of him, he's a funny man. I, I enjoy his comedies. But yeah, it was um, he. It's a show. It's like um a show, but they do the Oh my god, I can't talk today. <laughs> Sorry about this. St statistics. There you go. I got out. Statistics. For some reason, I could not say the word statistics. A very simple word which I have never had problems saying for. Why the hell is Stalingrad such a rubbish city? Like it should be one of the best we have, but now it's it's already quite terrible. Ah, press W for some reason. Oops. I have some uranium. It's not really much use of uranium at the moment. I think we have another uranium one somewhere, but that's that's cool. I think to be honest, we, we're basically ready for the war now. Actually, I just send the armies down. Yes, I know we don't actually have. Wait, I can get it so we have the forces to begin the war. Okay, we need a little bit more dosh before we can do that. Hopefully we should be able to do it this turn. This turn of course referring to next turn because it was this turn I couldn't afford it. Shut up. Okay, don't, don't question the logic. You, you'll get it. You'll get it later. You'll get that later. Uh, anti air gun. We will drive the the capitalist planes out of the sky, damn it. Yep. <clears throat> there you go, it's sped up. Now we should be able to do it this time. The vultures shall have their fill of our The world will feast when they see the defeat of the East Balkans um felt. Something. The world is on the brink of war. Russian ultranationalists have taken power in Russia. Uh, tanks gather on the Baltic and, um... Yeah, sorry, I was just quoting the intro to uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. A game I detest so very much. Oh, how I detest that game. So if you may be thinking, well, why are you quoting it if you test it? Oh, it... It's basically because the game is not a good game, as in, it's it's ready. It's... The storyline's there, I guess, but the game itself is a bit sort of... I, I don't know how you describe it. Messed up? It's, it's just a bit... It's really difficult. It's one of those sort of, um... It's set in, like, sort of a Cold War-like scenario. Yes, it's another one of those games. And Russia's, like, about to invade the one. You're on a special forces team, but it's ridiculously... Like, the enemy is meant to be realistic, which means that you take two bullets and dies, and the enemy takes one, no, uh, hundred, and is still alive, and we're at war with Germany. The, this world isn't big enough for the two of us. Oh, okay, thank you, you man who has no land connected to mine, so you probably can't get your troops across. But, yeah, cool. He, he's going to war with us. We will not feel the effects of that for quite a while. So, yeah, cool, cool, Von Papa, you, you weaken your country in trying to invade us, even though you're miles away, so we can just ignore you completely. Yeah, strategy. And we should also build an anti-aircraft gun here. I barracks here. What else do we have? Oh, we have some cavalry here. I've forgotten about that. Build another infantry unit there, because it's not well defended. And then we shall begin the invasion. Oh, whoa, German tanks, crap. All this about, well, we won't be able to hit them, and there's German tanks on our borders. Oh, crap, the tanks are stronger than ours, too. Well, you know what they say. We could possibly be screwed. It's alright, I have a plan. Clearly, the East Balkans are in, are in on it. They're in on it, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, crap, there are tanks behind us as well. I didn't notice that, I was just like, having my ramp, but yep, okay, that's it. There's no time to dilly-dally, we're going to war, damn it. Oh, and then we're going to look over here for some reason. Uh, lo lovely, I have infantry. Such chance of victory? Yeah, 85.1. But if I come down. So, what are the. Add 25 cent from crossing river, add 10 cent strength. So, if I go there, we'll have a better chance of victory. 95.2. Cool. Destroy the, the fascist dogs, damn it. For Mother Russia. For Mother Russia. 